Hello, welcome to today straight up by this life with me Mrutika Banerjee. In Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, the situation has stabilized after the recent violence against South Asians. However, Indian students are booking their flights back to India and universities are postponing exams. A statement released by the Indian embassy on May 22nd said and I quote the embassy has been concerned at the recent incidents of violence against foreign students in Bishkek. However, due to swift action by the Kyrgyz authorities, the situation in Bishkek has returned to normal. Unquote. Despite this, many students are leaving and universities are actively helping with evacuation, postponing exams and declaring vacations until the situation fully improves. A student from the International Higher School of Medicine, Kyrgyzstan, who spoke with Eric's life on the condition of anonymity, said, and I quote, 60% of Indian students have booked their flights back home, myself included. We will have online classes in the upcoming week and then vacation. Our exams are unlikely to be held before August, unquote. Students also claim that few universities have arranged charter flights for them to return home. To recall, the crisis began on Friday, May 17th, when Indian students in Bishkek faced violent backlash from locals targeting Egyptian, Pakistani and Indian students. While no Indian students were reported dead, several were injured in the attacks. The violence was triggered by an earlier conflict on May 13 between Egyptian students and locals, although the exact cause remains unknown. Following the incident, the locals, presumably angry, decided to launch a manhunt for the foreigners. The visuals during the rounds of social media depicted how the locals gathered in groups at locations where the foreign population was high and then forcibly entered residences and hostels. In response to the crisis, Pakistan has initiated evacuations for their students while the Indian Embassy has provided a helpline for emergencies. However, Indian students have largely been left to arrange their own transport and flights. Here is what Dr. Vasundhara Pawar, Vice President of All India Medical Students Association has to say about the situation at hand. Approximately 15k Indian students are in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan studying MBBS and are merely students not a luxury type group with agenda. It all began with local authorities being lenient over foreign students over locals and one thing led to another thought and effort to bring things under control is done effectively. But as I said, those there just students traumatized and harassed by locals and in immense threat living far away from homeland, parents are concerned about their children's lives. Which is why students are preferring to fly back home till the situation is totally under control and respective government make sure safety and securities of the students. That is all from us today. Do like, share and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to mask up and stay safe.